Welcome to the Directed Hotels Hotelier Extranet. In this video tutorial, we will discuss how to update availability. Updating availability in the Hotelier Extranet is very easy. You may update availability values directly on the room availability calendar or apply new availability per room type for a date range via the bulk updates module. Let's start with updating availability directly on the room availability calendar. Click on the Channel Management tab to display the calendar section. This section of the Hotelier Extranet is where you get to update availability and rates for the dates displayed on the calendar. Since we want to focus our attention on the room availability calendar for now, we will be hiding the online selling rates calendar. Click on the calendar header to hide this section for now. The first calendar displays availability for 14 days for all room types offered for your hotel. Feel free to change the start date when the date you wish to update is not displayed. Click on the calendar icon in the Start From field to change the date accordingly. So for this instance, I want to update availability for starting from the 15th of March. The calendar will refresh the page with the dates that you've selected in the Start From field. So now you can change availability values directly on the calendar. So you can zero out availability for some of the days, increase availability for any of the day displayed for the other room types, decrease some of the availability, or just leave the others untouched. Now notice that as soon as you change availability values, the save and cancel buttons appear. You won't be able to proceed to other sections of the Hotelier Extranet, even if you want to, because you will be required to save your action first or cancel to discard any attempted changes that you've made. This approach is recommended if you are updating availability for just a day or if different values apply for the dates displayed on the calendar. Now, if you want to change availability to a fixed value for a date range, you have to do it via the Bulk Update section. Click on the Bulk Updates button in the Calendar section. This will open a pop-up window that allows you to update availability, rates, minimum nights, apply stop cell or remove stop cell for a period. Note that you can only do one type of update at a time. The bulk updates window selects change room availability for a period by default. The next step will require you to identify the date range for the period that you want to update availability values for. Clicking on the calendar icon and start date will display the current month by default. This makes sense as you need not change availability values for past dates. Select the date you desire and do the same for end date next. So for this instance, I want to update availability starting from the 1st of April all the way to the 7th. If you want to change the default availability for the room types, mark the 14 rolling months checkbox to overwrite availability values from the start date you identified until 14 months from the current date, which is today. But we'll discuss more of this later on. In the meantime, I just want to update availability until the 7th of April. Proceed to step 3 for updating availability. Input new values for each room type applicable to the date range you've identified. So you can either increase availability for some of the rooms, or you can zero out availability. You can decrease the availability, or maybe leave some of the other room types black. This doesn't matter as long as you update availability for at least one of the rooms listed. So when you're done, click the Finish button. You'll be taken back to the calendar. So now, you go to the date that you have just updated, for this instance, the 1st of April. And then you can check whether the availability values you've inputted in the Bulk Update section are already apparent on the calendar. If you can recall earlier, when we were updating the first room type, we inputted a value of 3. 
but we didn't see that update here because the total room inventory for that particular room type is just one. So the system will just cap availability values based on the total room inventory that you have less the online reservations made for that particular room type. So in this instance, for this room type, instead of availability values becoming 3, the system just retained it at 1. Let's go back to the bulk update section and discuss the 14 rolling concept further. When you mark this checkbox as you update availability, it will disable the end date field. The availability values you'll input in step 3 will be rolled by the Hotelier Extranet on a daily basis. This simply means that on a daily basis, the system will automatically assign availability values to the date exactly 14 months from the current date using the last value that you saved as 14 months rolling. So we'll update availability for the Apollo Suite and we're going to make that the default availability value starting from the 1st of June. So I'm going to edit the start date, set it to the 1st of June, and I'll set it to 14 months rolling. I'll increase that to 10 and click finish to go back to the calendar section. Now I'll set the start from date to the 1st of June so that we could see the changes that the Apollo suite is now set to 10. Since we've made this the new default availability for the Apollo suite starting from the 1st of June, you can expect the system to update availability for Apollo suite set it to 10 on a daily basis. So let me show that. We're going to go 14 months from today. And you'll see that Apollo suite is now set to 10. So come tomorrow, the availability value for Apollo Suite will still be 10, and then come the following day, it's still going to be 10. So basically, that's the concept of 14 months rolling. Should you need to refresh your knowledge on how to update availability, feel free to view this video at any time. You may also open context-sensitive help windows by clicking on the question mark icon located in the upper right corner of every section or pop-up window that requires your action. You may also go to the Account Management Help section where you'll see the consolidated help content for all sections of the Hotelier Extranet. Should you need further assistance, you may always go back to the Dashboard Quick Link section and click on the Contact Direct with Hotels button. This will open a pop-up window where you can state your concern. Clicking the send button will send an email to the Direct with Hotel support team who will get in touch with you immediately.